Hello. There you go. Oh my fucking god! We just went, we just went ten damn minutes without fucking recording anything. <laughs> All right, that was good for practice. Okay, that was, that, that, was, was good that was a good rough draft, right? We're practicing. That was a good That's bloopers. We're, we're just practicing. Yes. Okay, so for the people that didn't see what the first 10 minutes was, I introduced myself. I said, welcome back to Last Samurai Podcast or something <laughs> like that. And we have Eddie and Victoria in here, new DFW home buyers. Right. Currently yes. in the market. Currently in the market. Almost about, uh, about to close. About to close? Yeah. What's your closing date? Uh, October 15th. That's yes. in like two weeks from now. Yeah. Holy it's coming up on. shit! Oh, oh my god, isn't that the best feeling though? Isn't yes. that the best feeling ever? Right. Yeah, when you pass all the paperwork, going, yes, <laughs> it is, man. There's I told of... you guys the last time they made you guys really I know. Freaking I didn't criminal. think it was that much though. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, he was telling me he was like, every time it's just something new, it's something new, and I gotta right. look for it again, over and over again. It's like right. give me everything all in one, and then we'll we'll talk. Yep. You, and you have you're the one I had to be the one to be on top of it because since our loan is um through VA oh, they're not the type to kind of like push it you uh-huh. have to be the one on top of it since it's we're getting it's zero zero down okay it's and it's different from conventional loan and if usually with yeah usually with conventional they're the one that want that wants to give you that money cuz you know but with this one there's a lot of people um applying for it so i had to be the one what do i need every day what do we need what do we need okay you need this and this and this and this and it's true they don't give you one whole list Mm -hmm. they'll give it to you they'll ask for it as they kind of reviewing it for that yeah Yeah, that's what they did over here Mm -hmm. same thing and it was kind of stressing because i told my husband the same thing that you just Mm -hmm. said why didn't they just give us a freaking list of everything that we need all at once yeah Yeah. and and with all our banks see if if we have with ours we had multiple bank accounts so they they want everything from with with us they ask for five years Five but years back. Same with you five guys. Years back. No, actually no. not. Just uh, uh, three months back, right? Yeah, two, two months three months back. back. What the fuck? Really? Yeah. Yeah. They asked and then oh, only shit. one back because we had we had seven yeah, banks and, and uh-huh. I was like, hopefully. They and they didn't ask us for yeah. the other bank. No. Wait, you guys had two separate banks, but went through one, but didn't ask you for no information from the other one. Uh huh. Because the other one's, uh, yeah. uh, what's called that? Uh, credit union. Yeah, credit union. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So they didn't ask us no information about that. Really? Because what what ours with us? They're very strict. You know, mm. because they're giving it with zero down payments. So I see. yeah, maybe that's, that's what why. it is. Yeah. And you guys had to do down payment on there, so they're they and asked I feel us you, for. You, sorry, to yeah. I feel like you might have been or felt like you you might have been like on top of it because they probably weren't gonna take as much commission as they would like in in right. something as conventional or FHA, right? No, let no. me tell you over here. I felt I was on top of it. Then I complain all the time. I complain all the time. You tell them, girl. You tell them. No, literally, I was like, it's like I'm doing their job. I'm there getting paid for this shit. Literally, I was like, you should get some of the commission, right? Yes. Literally. See, with your realtor, when you hire that person, did you guys get money back? See, with our realtor, it's from Better Homes. Actually, since. It, they, you don't have to be in the military to have them. I should have told you guys this before. But since we went through their company, we actually got a certain percentage back that we hired them. So right. we got $2,000 back from them since nice. we have them as a realtor. And that's what we used to buy our fridge. That's good. Right? <laughs> that's and I was telling everyone that to my friends that because we also have other friends that huh. um, are doing it. If you hire them because they're a big um, realtor company you will when you close 30 days later after you close you'll get a check that is so nice Mm -hmm. and you don't have to be we we got them through because we are uh we have the usaa but you don't have to um that's your financer yeah no yeah no we have navy federal as our as um but we got the realtor through USAA. but we got the realtor through Uh usaa but you don't have to be on that you don't have to have a bank account from usa to, to get because it. first we were trying to go through usa and they said no bro we ain't taking your shit yeah, right so and we, then so because of our realtor to, just like that. right mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. but our realtor said hey you can go through navy federal Check and it out. was yeah huh. which is and cool what's her name again odette odette right. shout out odette you're the yeah, best and she's so nice like uh, after coming after we moved in 
she she would always come and drop off goodies and stuff like that. Yeah, she took care so of mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That is so sweet. That is. I mean, we yeah. can't say the same about our real or <laughs> our family. You know, you know I mean, thanks out, for proving us, but, <laughs> but I mean, they, they haven't gone above or beyond. You know, <laughs> just the bare minimum. Hey, we got you what you need, motherfuckers. Yes, uh-huh. so just deal with it. Right. Yeah, our house. Um, uh, processing was actually for him was very stressful with mine it's it's okay it's it's kind of what i deal with every day a lot of paperwork but this wasn't actually the house that we were supposed to get we were um actually getting a house in arlington that's um, what you're talking about right? yeah. but when when it comes to the finalizing everything it wasn't sold by a person it's sold by a company so they just want to get rid of it right mm-hmm. away hmm. when they we did the inspection of the house we found out that the foundation of it there's a lot of problems and yeah. it was going to cost at least 10 to fifteen thousand dollars to fix it Man, so no, we no. said we said okay so if it's going to cost that much why don't you lower your price because we're not going to be able to afford to pay whatever we have to, to pay. come up with the deal. Yeah. They said, fuck no. And they said, no. We're staying right here. So what happened, then we got this house, and then we checked that house again. That house dropped $20,000. 20 motherfucking thousand. Yeah, but the you house was beautiful. And if they would have just dropped fifteen for us, it would have been ours right now. It right. been over there. I would have had a two-car garage. I would have had a front yard and a backyard. It was and beautiful. And my would and shit everywhere. <laughs> But it was no. beautiful. And no it HOA fees, right? Uh, no fucking HOA fees. God damn these HOA. F- I mean, I appreciate everything they do except for the damn gate that they don't know how to fix. I know. These mother- it, it was wide open right now. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Exit and entrance. So we made a complaint, right? Uh, not too long ago. Somebody got their car broken into. Two people got their car broken no. into. And we're like, fix the freaking gates. So they fixed it. They fixed the entrance, but the, the exit, exit broke. <laughs> so the exit was wide Thank open. You. And they were like, all right, so we got, a, we got at least we got something done. We got one fix. And then, like, what, a week, two weeks later, <laughs> they're both broken again. now. Again. Yeah. I know. And it's been like that since we moved in here. Wow. Yeah. But with the HOA that we pay, we don't have to worry about the, the garbage. And the yard. The, the yard. Not to mow anything. Um, and what the good thing about, I actually like to have HOA because what it is, is they maintain the outside of your house. It makes sense. I mean, I think so, it's yeah. a smart mm-hmm. thing. Overall, I, I don't, yeah. I don't, right. we should get something with HOA because you don't want a neighbor next Who's to gonna you paint that their is car purple. Uh, the house purple. Exactly. And yeah. it's, and that's going to make yeah. the value of your house go down because yeah. who's going to want to move next to that guy? Right. Exactly. First of all, I'm the neighbor that wants to paint the house purple. <laughs> I know. Okay. Dude, I want to, I want, hey. you know that front? Let's go. <laughs> you know that whole front side of my house whenever you're walking in that big wall i want to put, put a mural there and i'm and like, like no, no that is so like <laughs> bro how cool would that be I was like this room mural. that you have you can put whatever you yeah. want in this but everything else you are <coughs> not gonna put anything whatever you have so yeah. he bought those stuff that he's gonna put up here but i was like yeah, those, those there's nothing those permanent shows. because this house it's not gonna be our forever house I just want to stay house. here for maybe five years. That's what I'm thinking. And at that while day, everything around develops, right? exactly, mm-hmm. it, ma- it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like I don't have. It's not what I wanted. I mean, right. it has some of the things that I wanted, but not really right. what I wanted. But it's, it's like, just a kid. So what? What exactly were you guys looking for to begin with? Like, let, let's go all the way back to the beginning when you're like when you first initially thought, okay, I want to get a house. What was your first thoughts? I wanted some land, that's for sure, and out right. of the city. You wanted land and out of the city. And we got that big yeah. yard. And, okay. uh, and, nice. But I, always, I think you're saying that because of uh, the kitchen size. I Square was, footage. I always inside. wanted a big you wanted, kitchen. You want a big yeah. kitchen? Yes. And did you not get the big kitchen? No, I didn't. <laughs> it ain't that big. I don't know. <laughs> or you can so always she take a wall down and freaking remodel right. your kitchen. Right, that's what I, 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 I hit her up with some of my, some yeah, of my ideas. Hey, yeah, you know. hey, yeah. But uh, I think overall, it's it's. it's I like it's it. It's cozy. It's more. It's cozy. So it's yeah. our first house. So. Yeah. Exactly. You, you can't. It's not gonna be like it's gonna be there forever. It's like it's gonna right. be forever. So it's just your first one. It's your, it's your template, and then you just build from there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's how. That's how we see this one as well. We see this as an investment, really, not as you know, forever. I, this location right now doesn't have a lot of um, what is it called, like buildings. You know, like Arlington, they have oh, all yeah, those stores. Oh yeah, there's like nothing around us. Nothing, but it, what the main the main thing that I looked at when I was we were getting this house was the property value of the place. So in the next five years, they're gonna be building um, what is it called? The stores, you know, oh, all that like stuff around this area, around. and the value of this house is gonna increase. Yeah. That's the only way it's gonna go. Mm. We just bought this house 
but what five months ago six months ago february and the price of it already has increased eight grand oh really yes i didn't even know that. i always check it <laughs> how do you keep you up know with why them? i check it because we were you were planning to go remember we oh were, yeah oh we yeah were. i told you about that right yeah so I, I didn't think i told you victoria i got a job over in uh i got offered a job over in california they're like, hey man, it's ten dollars more than what you're making over there. Come through. That's I'm cool. like, ten dollars more? Fuck yeah, give me that money. Right and then I started putting okay. two and two together. I was like, okay, I gotta move there. We gotta sell the house, or we gotta put on rent. Then we gotta find a house over there. Mm-hmm. We don't want to live in apartments no more. Wait, but that's gonna cost a whole bunch. I Gas know. is like ten thousand dollars a fucking gallon. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, everything is. And everything started piling on. I was like, ten dollars. It wasn't Bro, thinking. make it fucking twenty dollars more than what I'm making here, and that's a deal. <laughs> Yeah. But no, they couldn't do it. And on top of that, you know, I'm going to school here as right. well. I'm trying to finish start my school. January. So that's that's when I checked how much it was going to be for yeah. us to, if we want to sell it. Uh-huh. But um, I actually don't want to sell this house because our neighbors here, here and here and across the street, all the, their, their houses are leased. Even our so, neighbor here? No, the one next to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because that. The, so that means that it's not hard to find someone to lease the place. And they're actually paying two thousand dollars, two thousand one hundred for Damn. renting that place. Yeah, the place across the street got sold in one day. Yeah, so it opened up, and it was someone was taking so. it, and that's what I cared. I cared for a place where it's not hard to sell or to right. to rent out. Mm-hmm. And it's a good location. Right. I mean, you got 15 minutes to Arlington and mm-hmm. what is same for Fort Worth? Yeah. yeah. And we might be in the city, but do you notice that it's a very secluded place? Mm-hmm. You won't even know that there's like yeah. neighborhood here unless know. you know. I wouldn't call even this the city. So- I would be called like this between cities. You know what I mean? Like that on the way type right. shit. Kind because we're off the highway, but there ain't nothing here. We got we to gotta go. But one ways. exit. One exit before there are in East Chase is everything is there, mm-hmm. but right now they're building stuff around here. You see it like on that intersection. No, because all I do, Rose, is go to work and come home. I don't right. see shit. Okay. So it so shows. How am I gonna know? He doesn't know anything. So my gosh, the house when we were doing it, he I left him by himself because I was in the Philippines for, for a two month. Weeks. He told me about it. Yeah. Two weeks. Hold away. I want to. I want to uh, tell my side of the that. story. Okay. I'm pretty sure he was almost dying, right? right. Well, Doing well, all the paperwork. He left me alone. And then my real... T- I, we actually told the realtor ahead of time, hey, the wife's leaving. It's going to be me for two weeks. So, you know, go easy on me. And like, <laughs> let me know what you need one at a time. And then we'll, I'll, I'll get it for you, right? And she calls me. She says, hey, we need this, this, and that. I'm like, I got you. Day one, I got you. Don't worry <laughs> about it. I'll, talk, I'll call you in about two <laughs> minutes, okay? I'll call you in two minutes. I'm calling over there to Rose. It's like one o'clock in the morning. She's dead asleep. I'm ringing. I'm blowing her phone up. Like you better answer my fucking phone call because I need this information. <laughs> damn it! And I don't know where to find it. And this went on every single day, constantly yeah. asking to a point where I was just like, "Hey, you need to find a way to contact this damn real estate agent because I'm not talking to her no more. I'm done with this." Right. And she kept on. She kept on <laughs> and it upset right me this. because I was like, "All you have to do is give the fucking documents." That's yeah, but it. I couldn't find you the don't documents. Have, you don't have to because he goes like this. He opens the door. He's like, "Oh, it's not Dude. here. I don't see it." So <laughs> She it said gets it's annoying, me. right? And then he's like, "Well, I'm tired of this shit. Let's not do it no more." And then I'm like, "No, we're halfway already. You better do right. this shit." See, you were dead set on it, right? I, me, I was like, "I'm cool. I'll stay in this apartment. I freaking love this apartment. I don't no. want to go nowhere." Same over here. Same. I'm like, "No, we're getting out of this." See, bro, that's that's why that's why you, my man's, right? See the homie. I yes. calculated, like, you we, know, renting. We must progress. $50,000 on renting down the drain. That, that was like, yeah, that, that was crazy. That was crazy. Think, right? That was crazy. Uh-huh. My, uh, my, These past five years, that's what it's been. Uh, right uh-huh. about. Uh, my neighbor from downstairs, I feel like talked to her yesterday. And she she told me her rent went up a thousand one hundred. What? For, to and it, what is it? What is the square footage? Like seven hundred like square feet? Oh, that's, that's way smaller I, than the old one, right? I was like, that's a house payment, right? A nearby, I mean, there's some houses mm-hmm. like the yeah. the guy that uh, takes mm-hmm. care of the apartments pays for his house a thousand one hundred. Yeah, if you're not picky, you can get a house even less than that. I was like, right. no, wow. Arturo's house is like nine hundred dollars. They're paying. Dude, Michael Steele told me he's gonna be paying nine hundred dollars a month. I was like, what? But he, he dropped large. On yeah, that down payment. I'm sure. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he, he, said he, drop? he said he dropped. Oh. fifty thousand down. Did he? Yeah. Uh, I, he I haven't asked. He you said he dropped yeah. fifty down, and then he's gonna pay it off within two years. I was like, okay, big money Mayweather. Where the? <laughs> let, let me know how the fuck are we gonna do this? Because I want to do the same thing. And he's like, well, you just gotta be saving. <coughs> and also, he gets checks from like three different ways. Yeah, he, oh, he's it, got it three different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Mike. 
Yeah. So he's set. He's good with his money. Mike exactly. is very smart investing in it. I mean, oh. taking care of his money. Yeah. He's very... Did you guys do the minimum down payment or you added more? I did a minimum. Okay. Because you know, when I was really calculating it, I was like, okay, if you do, let's say, $10,000 down payment, they're only going to take out $150 less than what your regular month um, monthly mortgage. Right. It wasn't much. So yeah. I was like, I'm not going to do it. You have to we had an 20% option. down, don't you? So yeah. you can go yeah. like down. And I was like, whatever that was, I'm just going to put it in the house. So that's what we had used to buy our stuff, you know, for the house. But I was like, my, my mother-in-law, actually, Roman's mom was saying, um, is it recording? Yeah, it is. Okay. Still good. Sorry. <laughs> he was he's saying that why why is it uh why don't you do down payment blah 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 I'm like uh, you know I oh, my said mom? yeah your mom oh. I was like I would rather put the money what what's gonna go in the house it wouldn't be much it wasn't it, it yeah. was gonna be hundred fifty dollars less but I have to put down ten grand so for paying for down putting down ten thousand dollars it's only gonna increase one hundred fifty dollars <laughs> a month and I'm just like. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. Not we're worth it. we're putting uh, together with the earnest money together uh-huh. almost like twelve, twelve fifty. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, if you if I had doubled that number, uh-huh. it was only gonna drop like eighty bucks. Yeah, what? it wasn't much. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I was like, then uh, what the, the hell's thing. the point? Hell yeah. no. Yeah, I would definitely it wasn't, keep it. It wasn't. It wasn't a big chunk. Le, le, no, yeah. that that was stupid. So I was like, uh, so just use that money, save it to, to buy your furniture, yeah, you know, and all that sense. stuff. Yeah. So everything that you guys been through, the whole process of this, do you have any like advice for people who are currently in the market thinking about it? Like, what would you tell them to help them out? You know what? I, I got one, and it's uh, it's gonna be uh, uh, kind of funny, but uh, I I recommend everybody to see uh, that movie uh, American Hustle. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. No, it, it, it serious. is more. It, it breaks is, it down it to exactly smart. what happened in 2008 with uh, with the, the housing crisis. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, it's got the fucking Steve Carroll or... or and, 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 Wait, American and Hustle? Ryan Gosling. The- yeah, it's got Ryan Gosling in it. No, bro, that's the big short. Oh yeah, the big <laughs> right. short. The I big was about short. to say, yeah. Amer- Amer- I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. the big short. Yeah. American Hustle is with fucking Ti and some other guy. I think it's a rap show. It's a rap movie. It probably. Is. I was like, why do you want people to watch a rap movie? <laughs> is that why you left? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is the big short. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> but it's true. Okay, the big short. Yeah. I recommend you see it because it, it it breaks down the numbers and. Oh, uh, for sure. And Can you is, believe, dude? These guys made three hundred million dollars in a day. Yeah. It, it's sad. It's it's super sad. I mean, you guys wouldn't get it because you guys haven't seen it. But once you do, you'll get it. Like, it's crazy. My dad lost his first house, yeah. and after that, he started drinking so much. Oh it was depressing because when we came over here to the United States, he always said that he wanted a better future for us, mm-hmm. and he always worked hard on the fields mm-hmm. all the time. And I was babysitting my sisters. I remember I was eleven, taking care of my like seven months old sister and my other sister and they were always working and finally he was able to purchase his house and everything and like what two years later he just lost it out of nowhere it was oh it was gosh. stupid it was That's ridiculous so sad to hear. i'm so sorry to hear that he lost actually two houses same oh. shit but it was you know like the shitty uh, uh programs that you know that these people were financing him through yes and exactly was, and, and but oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay it was, yeah, I remember it was just now. you know it was an fha's you know it was like variable interest on Dude, it you know what's crazy so my my mom and my stepdad bought a house in 2007 right before the market crash and then i call i right after i watched the big short actually i called my mom and i said hey mom um, I just watched this movie about the about the recession that you know we went through that we lived through in Florida, and it was actually we were living in Florida at the time. And I was like, "Can you tell me a little bit something about that?" Because I'm just wanting trying to understand it. And she was like, "You know, Roman, I really have no idea." And I was like, "How in the hell do you not know what went down with uh, with the whole crisis when you just bought a house the year before that thing, and then everyone's talking about it on the news?" And she couldn't bring it up to me, and I was like, "I was like, come on, mother, you need to work with me here." But what did she say? What did she say? Uh-huh. She was like, I don't know. You're going to have to look it is up. Is it the same through the VA? Where, where they also messed up? Because uh, I know it's only certain know, programs sure. that, that goes down. But since mom always had their, their houses on VA. I know that they different? were affected somehow. Because the reason why I know is because they never bought me a skateboard. 
<laughs> and I was like, that's Roman, they I don't want. buy you anything. That's all you I wanted. You have to buy everything with yourself. I did. I know, but they said, oh, this recession's going on, Roman. We can't get you anything. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, well, I'm about to mow all the fucking yards in this neighborhood and get all the skateboards. <laughs> but yeah. so yeah, so that's how you guys learned about it, about housing. What's with yeah, the fucking, but uh, I mean. And also, I'm opi- my opinion on on uh, recessions. I mean, you might listen to media and you know uh, all these news outlets like dispersing all this. Oh, there's a recession on the way. But at the end of the day, the you know the recession uh, at your house, at your home, is up to you. Oh, I mean, sure. if, if you're yeah, if you're willing to move out of state and get a job, and you know take on three jobs, you know you're gonna be exhausted as shit. Right. But mm-hmm. but I mean, you know if 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 you have the will to stay above water, you know the recession yeah, ain't gonna give you really. Also, gonna have um, of how to manage your money too. Mm-hmm. I mean, right. you gotta be smart with your money. Yeah, start and young. That's the thing. Yes, yes. like start, it, tr- yeah. trust me, I count every penny because you know yeah. I don't work. <laughs> oh, is she the C- CFO? No, literally, I, yes. that checks come in and I'm like, okay, this goes here, 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 That's here. That's exactly. Literally, I haven't looked at my bank account for Never. Like four no, years. No, he, he doesn't. Been. He doesn't. He's like, how much can I spend? That's that's what he does. I'm Literally, like, okay. he's like, I'm like, babe, you can put thirty bucks yeah. in that, and that's Same only thing. thirty oh, bucks. Whenever me and friends go out, I'll like, I'll let them go uh-huh. in front of me. I'll just be like, I'll call them up, Rose. No, 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 I'll be there. I'm just gonna smoke a cigarette. I'll be, I'm just gonna smoke a cigarette. <laughs> hey, babe, we're about to go to this. Bar. <laughs> that's how he is. How or I'll give him cash. I'll yeah. give him cash. Yes, exactly. See, but she like, don't want to give me cash because strippers like cash. Right. So I can't. He's paying for their education. Um, but. Th- that's bi- the big the biggest for mm-hmm. us um we're very fortunate that we kind of started putting our money or our, our investments in certain things two years ago that's when we started our index account mm-hmm. right and learning it because what happened when i was 18 i blew up my money i was like oh i'm out of my house and i was the we good saver let, let me say it let me say it wait let me say this I so say i was in washington okay. right okay. i was in washington and i was um a nursing assistant and i was getting paid 18 dollars an hour and i was making that money so i was spending i have all these cards all these credit cards and um what is it and I was spending money before I even get like get it. But she was making yeah. bank. I was, but I was making a lot. So in, in my head, in yeah, my yeah. head, I was like, I had two jobs. I was a nursing assistant from six a.m. to three, and I worked at a sub shop from four to ten o'clock at night. And I was a full time student. And yeah. I was like, in my head, I was like, okay, Rose, you can just spend it because you'll pay back when you'll when, make it back, and it gets a bit larger, but those credit and cards and, and interest, bigger, right? Is- now, what happened when you moved when I into moved my here, house? I my job was shit. I was they, they start me off. I was like eight dollars, eight fifty an hour. <laughs> and I was like, and, and I didn't <laughs> tell. Texas, that's right. And I didn't tell him. He was like, Rose, what's happening to your to your money? How come you're not at that time? Since you know everything was split into half, we started living together, but everything was 50-50 until we got married. That's when I started combining our incomes together. But he was like, "How come you always you always don't have money?" And that's when I had to tell him I was like five thousand dollars in debt, and Roman had to pay it all off and cut that card in front of me because he said it, it, all, it all stuck in my head. He said, "I would rather be broke than owe anyone money," and that kind of stayed with me. I still live with that to this right? day. Yeah. So I, 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 I you know, I'm Over always here. so I I'm always so scared, like you know not being able to pay yeah. pay anything back. But I mean, it's good to have credit cards for emergencies. Yes, and only for emergencies. You gotta be diligent mm-hmm. when yes. you use them. But, but that is the one. I would rather be not have money than owe anything. I think that's... But... And now we now we owe everybody money. Right. This, this whole house is... This, this is our biggest ever, you know. Our biggest... Oh, our biggest the house. payment? Yeah, right. chances are it, it'll purchase. be the biggest investment of your yeah. life. Right. You know? so. But... My, for me, for my advice for those people that wants to mm-hmm. to get a house is, yes, save, but also um, be sm- like with the money, be smart to where you put it. Don't wait until you're 50, 40, 50 years old yes. to start thinking about retirement. No, no. Like with us, I want to be, I wanted us to be safe because I said, what if Roman dies tomorrow? How am I the hell going to pay for this house? Exactly. So you... At the age of what, twenty three, twenty three, twenty four, I bought us life insurance. Um, I bought us um, 
like insurance for the house if right. anything if anything goes wrong we have investment and stuff like that because what if something happens to me too you know because our income together is enough for whatever is going on with our, our life right now if someone dies it's like not balanced anymore right so life Except insurance for my emotions, is the because roman doesn't care i was like why do we need to get life insurance you know he, he's in his head why do we have to pay only 20 like 30 dollars a month He's thinking, why do I have to spend that thirty dollars a month if, if I think I'm not even gonna die for that? Just make sure to not die. But that's a good you investment know? if you think about it, because you're driving more yeah. now, mm-hmm. right? You're well, and you I, might be safe, but you know, there's and always if you a get dumbass sick, on the road. If you get sick, you don't know how many stupid people are on the road right now just yeah. driving to your house. Mm-hmm. Oh, because we went to the store. I'm sorry, before coming mm-hmm. up here, we went to the store, and I'm like. Oh my god, it's Friday. Why are these fucking people here? I'm sorry. <laughs> All these people you here. Curse over. I was yeah, like, there was so many yeah. crazy people right. out there. And I'm like, you, yeah, you might know. be careful, but other others don't care. Exactly. Others are not going to be careful around you. And I'm so scared to be left alone with all this death. Yes. If he ever will pass yes, away. You know? They, they're going to just flee the country and go to the <laughs> I was like, do. like, people will say, well, you're so young to think about stuff like that. You know, you only. No, it's but, more. I, I do the same thing, but Rose. I'm like, I do the, I'm like yeah. hey, babe, we got. Um, I, I even told him, we got to think about our funeral. I was like, because yeah. if we die. I don't want to leave our kids with our, with that. They don't right. have to pay. I don't want them to make car washes or shit like mm-hmm. that. I was like, we got to. And it's that. culture. And, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, you know, and I'm for sure in, in your culture, too. But you yeah. know, over here in, in the Mexican uh, ideology. The kids. It's, you know, it's uh, whoever's left behind. You know, they got to come up with the money. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and uh, I don't want to mm-hmm. go through that. Right. Yeah. No, you don't want to put is. them through that. Right. And you also want right. to instill into your children not to be that way as well for exactly. their right. children. You know? Right. Yeah. This always be you can never be prepared, but you can try. You can you can be a little prepared. Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So well on that nice. note, <clears throat> you guys, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your words of advice. I think I should know what you guys did. Yes. So this camera's about to dial right now yeah. and I just don't want it but to. But it will be it will be amazing to come home to a house that you think your that money you're paying every month is just yours, it's, especially it's after an hour drive. Your own. It's not you know, going it's away. It's just yours. Yeah. It's, it it's not going. Now. It's, it's not going minutes. to anyone's <laughs> pocket. It's going to your your oh, future fuck. investment. Stop. Never mind. Is that stop. it? Oh no! Wait. 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 Stop. 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 Should I sing while we're waiting? No. <laughs> <laughs> Should I karaoke? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Wait. We'll just edit this shit out. Right. But anyways, continue saying what you're saying. No, uh, saying. Nothing beats coming home to a house that it's yours. I cannot wait for the closing day. It's it, like, like it makes you kind of work hard. I keep checking better. the cabin there every day. Okay, <laughs> and also let us know when you guys are moving out there because you know we got a big ass truck. Yeah, I got a big ass yeah. truck. You only got shit. No, yeah. she got an SUV. We put an SUV too. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you guys need help moving shit out there, just let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All I take Thank is beer you. and pizza. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and they say don't right, spend. Huh? I was telling you downstairs. Don't even think about it. Look about the furniture you're gonna get, but don't apply to anything yet. You know because. What do you mean? Oh, until the closing, until right? Until the closing, because remember, even after the day that we closed, we had to get a call from my realtor saying it's all cleared. Because that when you sign, they have to wait until the money goes to the um, to okay. the buyer to seller, and until only then you can just say okay, you can buy whatever you want. Clear. Clear. All right. Well, guys, thank you guys for stopping by thank to the you. Last Samurai Podcast. And Victoria, you're in the show. She didn't Yay. want to be here, guys. So thank you for also being here. <laughs> no, thank and my you. wife. Right. Being my thank you for having us. Oh, for thank sure. You. Can we go oh, eat no. now? I'm fucking sorry. Yes, yes. Let me go please. start cooking. I, All right. The, the yes, sound. Adios, guys. We're going to go Bye. Love you. Mic check, mic check. Can you guys hear me? Can you, can you, you know, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, you better put your phone on silent, goddammit. Right. Test, you, test, you, test. You, you guys good over there? Scoot your camera up closer, guys, so we can hear you guys. I mean, not camera, you yeah. <laughs> your microphone. No, like, you can just move the whole, the whole thing. Yeah, move it closer, you guys. Yeah, like that. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, Wait, don't pick it up. Oh, <laughs> oh well, anyways, <laughs> cheers, guys.
Fucking cheers. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's going on. Pero todavía, we, we haven't signed, we, I told you, we haven't signed nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> welcome everybody, welcome back to the last Samurai Podcast, the only sponsored podcast online by Yo Mama, where no bras are needed. <laughs> so today we have the beautiful and handsome Eddie and Victoria <laughs> in the house. <laughs> because we have uh, we have something in common, guys. You guys are both new first time home buyers, just like right. us. Right. That's right. All right. Mm-hmm. But you're going way the fuck out there. Where are you going? <laughs> it's uh, we're beautiful. Going, yeah, we're going to Forney. Forney. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, you're never coming to my house if you're going to Forney. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's quite the, the distance from the city, but. But uh, we like that solitude, you know. Yes. I, I don't like dealing with all that traffic. And you want to have like within the week. <laughs> within, you want to have like that uh, traffic, bro. You're about to go to day shift. We're talking about traffic. You're gonna get all the oh, fucking just traffic. Just in, in the afternoon. So what brought you up to Forney was the solitude and having like a and also a bigger yeah, yard. Some land with it. Yeah. So, how much? Yeah. How much land's gonna come with it? It's a little over an acre. Woo! Yeah. So, I'm I know. Pretty excited about that. He was showing me that riding lawnmower you guys are gonna get. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, Which one? He, sh- he showed me this bum ass riding lawnmower with like rust all over it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would have been. I was like, yeah, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's but huge. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I didn't do a damn. I didn't do a damn thing when it came to buying the house. No. So I don't know shit about it, which is why I got my co-host here, my wife Rose, who did the entire thing. We try to understood, and, uh, like try to understand all the wording that came with it. But hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. What the happened? Fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. What the heck? Is it not recording? Dude, I don't know why it didn't record. You didn't click it. I did. I hear something. 